movies and motherhood. And we'll be meeting a woman who spent a week living the life of a 50s housewife. Find out how she got on, how it all compares after the break. The three films she starred in became blockbusters. Her appearance as the fairy godmother in a version of Cinderella got a record audience when it was shown on American TV. Sally even went to meet the Golden Girl in New York. Well, she's an award-winning diva, selling millions of albums worldwide. The success of her films have made her one of Hollywood's most bankable stars. Her tours are instant sellouts, but when Whitney Houston goes on stage, she still gets butterflies. The stage of the fight in me is, is the commanding of the stage. It keeps people's attention for 90 minutes. It's pretty intense, you know. Um, I'm probably more scared of myself of what I'm going to do or if I should leave the country again or again. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. The Bodyguard was Whitney's first film. It broke box office records. Do you think Hollywood has accepted you as an actor? I don't think they have a choice. I really don't. I think um, the Bodyguard kind of, um, even if the critics didn't watch it, the people did. And I think that's what goes to movies and buys the critics, the people. People think the, 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 the color in Hollywood is black and white. The color in Hollywood is green. It's called money. And that's what they bank on, you know. And Hollywood banks on Whitney in a version of Cinderella. Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother, honey. You? You got a problem with that? Because if you'd rather have some old lady in the tutu signature, you fairy Oh, you? no, no. 60 million viewers watched the multiracial version of this classic fairy tale. With an African American Cinderella. Who would have thought 50 years ago? Sit down, don't let me do all the work. After casting her magic in Cinderella, Whitney's next screen project will be a romantic comedy with Will Smith. Will is the man, you know, Will is the man in Hollywood. I mean, he, he makes us, he makes us all very proud, really. He's just, not only is he like the best that he does, but he's a really good person. Although she has stage and screen success, Whitney's private life is turbulent. She remains married to singer Bobby Brown, despite constant rumors of a split, and Whitney suffered several miscarriages. Her only daughter, Bobby Christina, is now five. Bobby Chris is special. It's truly me and Bobby Kai. She's, she's born into this and she knows what it's about already. She's adapted. You know, she takes to the world. It's very natural for her. Do you think she's going to follow your footsteps? Um, yeah, pretty much. I think that she will do probably more than I, um, which is what she's supposed to do. I could see her as a doctor, a lawyer, yeah, sure. But, um, you know, it's inevitable when you have this kind of medically one of these families, you know, can We are Whitney Houston, and uh, I will always love you, one of the biggest selling singles in history, right up there with White Christmas and Elton John's tribute to Diana, of course. And you can see Whitney live when she plays Manchester's Nye Next Arena. That's on July the 9th, and it's the only UK date on her brief European tour, so if you want to see her, you will have to go to Manchester now.